solve problem 4.28 from Microelectronic Circuits 8th edition by Sedrin Smith. For the circuit shown below, the diodes are identical. Find the value of R for which V equals 50 millivolts. So we see that V is just the voltage across this resistor, and we know that these two diodes are identical. So let's just start drawing out what we know. So I'm going to label the current traveling from this diode to be ID1, and I'm going to label this current ID2. Then we see that we have the source current I of 1 milliamp. So let's just start writing out some circuit analysis equations. So we know that the current of ID1 using the voltage law V equals IR would just be equal to V over R. And using nodal analysis, right, we have this I of 1 milliamp coming into this node. Then we have ID2 and ID1 coming out. Therefore, ID2 is equal to 1 milliamp minus ID1, which is just V over R. And I can also express this voltage as the voltage from D2 minus the voltage from D1. Because if we observe this node, I have both voltages from D2 and D1. But then once I reach this node, I have dropped that voltage from D1. OK. So we have some basic equations. Now, what else can we express? Well, we can also write out the general equations for ID1 and ID2 using their source current. Since we know that both of these currents are, or both of these diodes are identical, they will share the same source current. And we'll just say e to the power of VD1 divided by VT and e to the power of VD2 divided by VT, where VT is equal to 25 millivolts. This is the thermal voltage. Now, ultimately, we need to find a value for R, given that V equals 50 millivolts. So how can we make an expression for V? Well, we can derive an expression of V with the two voltage diode equations if we divide the expression for ID2 with the expression for ID1. Let's see what this looks like. So if I divide ID2 by ID1, I get my source current times e to the power of VD2 divided by VT over IS times e to the power of VD1 divided by VT. So we can see that the source currents cancel out. And when you define exponentials, you just subtract the exponent. So we get the base times VD2 over VT minus VD1 over VT, and these are the same denominator, so we can just combine to 1 e to the power of VD2 minus VD1 over VT, and as we can see, this is the same expression for V. Okay, now let's let V equal 50 millivolts, so therefore ID2 over ID1 is equal to e to the power of 50 millivolts divided by 25 millivolts. Okay, that's just equal to e to the power of 2. Now ultimately we want to solve for R, and I can express R with these currents. So we'll say ID2 is equal to 1 milliamp minus V over R divided by ID1 V over R is equal to e to the power of 2. All right, let's start solving for R because I already know my value of V, right? It's 50 millivolts. So let's multiply this V over R on both sides of the equation. So we get 1 milliamp minus V over R is equal to V over R times e to the power of 2. And let's add this V over R to the right side. So we have 1 milliamp is equal to V over R plus V over R e to the power of 2. Now let's factor out this V over R. 1 milliamp is equal to 
v over r factored out with 1 plus e to the power of 2. Hopefully you can start to see where I'm getting at. If we multiply r on both sides and we divide 1 milliamp by both sides, we'll get r is equal to, close its parentheses, v times 1 plus e to the power of 2 divided by 1 milliamp, which is equal to 50 millivolts for V times 1 plus e to the power of 2 divided by 1 milliamp. So we get R is equal to, put on my calculator, 419.45 ohms. And that's our final answer.